intercepting routes in Next.js. If you haven't seen my other videos on routing, I would definitely watch those prior to this because this is a more kind of advanced use case, but you can do some cool things with this. So conceptual overview and then an example application once we're done with that. So intercepting routes in Next.js, it allows you to load a route within a certain layout while keeping the context of the current page. And a example of this that they show in their docs and now I think that since they showed this in their docs, it's the only example that I could kind of think of in my head is if you have like a feed of images and when you click on that image, you want to see like a pop up of that image and a more enlarged image. So maybe you have a feed of different posts and then you just see the thumbnail of an image, but you click on the post and then it shows just like a modal pop up of that image but you still want to see the background of your current page and still have the context of that current page, this is where you could use route intercepting. And then it will also give you a additional URL to where you could just directly go to that URL of that modal and see that as its own isolated page without the context of the page. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry. It didn't make sense to me the first time I kind of read it either but it should once we get towards the, the end of this video here. So this is basically what this kind of diagram shows here. You effectively have a feed here in which you could click on one of the fe post feeds and then it will pop up this modal in which you still have the context of your current page. However, as it says below, when navigating to the photo directly, by, for example, when clicking a shareable URL or by refreshing the page, the entire photo page should render instead of the modal. So you just see this page, okay? So this routing intercepting will allow you to implement some functionality like this, as well as at the same time, when you go to this forward slash photo forward slash one, two, three, when you do it in the context of your feed page, it will show up as a modal. But when you do it just within the context of your application not within your feed it will show up as its own page which is pretty cool so the way that this can be done within next.js is you do this with the parentheses and then like a certain path within the parentheses so what you can do is parentheses single dot parenthesis will match a segment on the same level Two dots will match a segment one level above. You could also do parenthesis, two dots, parenthesis, parenthesis, two dots, parenthesis, and this will match two levels above. And then if you want to match the app directory, you can do three dots within the parentheses. Okay, there's a 0% chance I'm going to remember this. I'm going to have to consult the docs every single time I do this. So if you have to do that, don't worry, you're not alone there. So I don't think you need to memorize this. Just know. This is generally how you can do this convention. And an example of this is you can intercept the photo segment from within the feed segment by creating a parenthesis dot dot parenthesis photo directory. Okay. So the way that this works is here in this demo application here that they're, they're kind of showing here within this photo, they have a feed segment and within their feed segment, they want to write a route intercept that will effectively show their photo segment, but as a modal within the feed. So the way that they can kind of intercept this route down here. So you're going to intercept the photo ID dynamic route here within your feed page. And the way that you can do this interception is by adding parenthesis dot dot parenthesis and then photo matches photo. So this convention here is going to match this photo down here. And then you're going to have your ID just like you have here and then your page.js. So within your feed page, this is why you would get a modal because you're using this intercept convention here. But then you could still access photo and then whatever dynamic ID and then this intercept isn't going to occur. You're not going to see this modal because you're not within the feed page anymore. You're not in this route segment. So hopefully that's clear. This is really all, all there is to route intercepts here. So now let's go to the Next.js GitHub and kind of spin up a demo application here. So here over on github.com forward slash Vercel hyphen labs, and I'll show you the, the URL right here. 
Vercel hyphen labs forward slash next gram, you can see this kind of demo application. And the reason I'm using this is because I think that for just like this example demonstration, it's easier to just use this one that's already in place. But when we create our full application later on, there's a chance that we'll do something with route intercepts here as well. But I think this shows a really good use case. So within VS Code, what I'm going to do is follow these steps here to run this project locally. So I'm going to do git clone and then this URL. I'm going to CD into this project. Next, Graham. I'm going to run just yarn and then enter. That's going to install some packages. And then I'm going to run yarn dev. So if I go into VS Code here, I have already done those steps. So if we look at my history here, I did git clone that URL. Then I did CD into next gram and I opened my project and then I just ran yarn and then I ran yarn dev and running yarn dev made this run locally at localhost 3000. And when you do that, you should be able to go to localhost 3000 and you should see this project right here. Okay. Now, before we look at kind of the behavior of this project, let's look at how it's kind of set up here. So similar to what I showed you in the docs just a second ago, we have our app directory here and we are using this at modal parallel route here. So this is going to allow us to do a intercept here for photos. And if you haven't seen my video on parallel routes, I would definitely watch that to make this make more sense. But effectively what this is going to do is to allow you to kind of do this same modal behavior using these intercepts as well. So they have this at modal convention and then they have the parenthesis dot parenthesis photos. So that means that they are using this folder here to intercept photos right here because this is since this is at modal, this is a parallel route. It means that this is still within your app directory. So since this is still within your app directory parenthesis dot parenthesis photos, then you're just going to use a single dot here. If this was another route segment here, so if this didn't have the at sign in front of it, it was just modal, then you would have to go back an additional path. So you'd have to go parenthesis dot dot to match this photos directory. So you use this intercept to match the path of whatever directory you kind of want to intercept or what route you want to intercept. So I want to intercept this photos dynamic route here so it's full photos forward slash some dynamic ID since I want to intercept that and it's in the same route level as this folder. Then for my intercept, I'm just using parenthesis dot parenthesis photos matching the name there. And then within my photos intercept folder, I'm then going to add a square bracket ID square bracket folder to match the dynamic route. So I'm intercepting this dynamic route using this parallel route segment and with your par parallel routes here you do need to make sure to render them out within your layout so here this is why you see props.modal within their default layout so they render out this modal parallel route and parallel routes just allow you to render multiple pages within the same route okay so with that all they're basically doing here is when you land on this or when you intercept the photos route, it's going to show a modal and it's going to show the photo based on whatever ID is in your dynamic params up top. It's going to find that photo corresponding to that ID and it's going to show a modal of that. But if you just navigate to the dynamic route of photos ID, then it's going to show an entire page, not within a modal, and just going to show that photo. So to see this in action here, what you're going to see is if we click on one of these photos, it's going to show a modal. And the reason it does this is because we are intercepting this photos forward slash dynamic route here within our overall kind of feed here. And to show you our overall feed within our default page.js, we are just mapping over our photos and rendering out an image that links to the dynamic path of photos forward slash ID. But since we have this intercept, it's not actually going to go to its own separate page at photos forward slash ID. It's actually just going to go to this intercepted route here and show a modal. So this one will show a modal. And if I did a hard refresh here, then we wouldn't show this parallel route anymore because it's a hard refresh. 
So we would then show the photos forward slash ID as its own page. Okay. But since that link uses a soft navigation, we, that intercept occurs and we just show a modal here. So to show this again here, since we just use the link and it's a soft navigation, we show this photo modal here over the top because we intercept this, this route here to show the modal. But if I do a hard refresh here, you see now that I did that, it's just this photos page without the context of my background page. And if I go back to here and I click on another one and then I just copy this URL and I paste it here, you see, I also get a hard navigation here and I just see this page. Okay, so we're using a combination of parallel routes and intercepting routes or route intercepts to have this behavior occur. Okay, so this one's a little bit tricky. I totally understand, but I think that once you think about it in terms of, okay, in your project, if you want to do a route intercept while maintaining the same context of whatever page you're within, well, you're going to need to create a folder within the route of that page that you want to show in like your background. And you're going to want to use this intercept here that matches the same path to whatever route that you want to intercept. And then you could show a modal like it does here. And then it still gives you the ability to go to this kind of separate page and show it without a modal as well. All right. So a little bit trickier of a concept there, but hopefully that was clear, but it does give you some cool features when it comes to some more advanced routing capabilities with these intercepts. So with that, let's continue onward with this next JS tutorial here. Let's get into some route handlers, some middleware and keep moving through this. And then of course we will end with a full on project here at the end. So thanks for tuning into this and I'll see you in that next one.